thank you so much for hosting this conference. It's my first time here in Mexico, and the hospitality has been amazing. And I just want to say thank you. And uh, hoping today to share some information about Startup Canada with everyone. And as Miriam mentioned, Startup Canada is about helping entrepreneurs. And one of the great things that we're hoping to do as well is to connect Latin America with uh, Canada through many programs. And we're working with Miriam to do that. Um, a quick overview about Startup Canada. It's run by volunteers. So there is uh, no government funding with Startup Canada, but we have great representation by um, private partners such as UPS. We're doing a Go Global boot camp with um, many of the Canadian startups and hoping to connect uh, startups here and entrepreneurs here in Mexico. Uh, with Canadians and uh, one fantastic thing that's coming up next year is there is no requirement for a visa for Canada. So uh, Miriam will speak as well about that um, through some of the programs that we're having with the soft launch visa and um, no requirement for a visa. So uh, if you have any questions, please ask as I go through. Um, I think my slides are not advancing, but I'll just go through it very quickly. Um, one of the things that Startup Canada has are communities, and the communities are right across Canada. So from the East Coast to the West Coast, my community that I run is called Peel, as Miriam mentioned, and it's just outside of Toronto. And what we do is connect entrepreneurs with resources. If they're looking for funding, they want mentorship, they want to start a business, but they don't know how to start the business, uh, they need help writing a business plan, that's where we come in and we connect them with everyone. There's no charge for the service that we do because it is run by volunteers, um, such as myself. And the really main thing about that is also the incubators. We heard of uh, Ryerson DMZ, which is a fantastic incubator. We heard of Waterloo, um, the program. Catherine was here yesterday and she shared the program at Waterloo with us. And there's so many things to connect entrepreneurs globally. Hmm? Go forward. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry. Cool. So this, there's an image that, that's up there on the slide right now. That is from one of our, we call it Startup Day on the Hill. On the Hill is our capital of Canada, so it's Ottawa. And what we do is we bring entrepreneurs from right across the country to come up and to celebrate and to connect with government, to ask questions. Um, there are ministers of parliament to um, speak about the things that they want to see. Um, help that they need and uh, so we do that as a celebration every year and it's a huge event because we have usually over a thousand people that come. That slide, I just went through that about Startup Canada, it's, um, it's a social enterprise, it's grassroots, so it's volunteers, everybody helping everyone. Um, there is, it's really about inclusivity, so if someone, even if they're not from your community, you're still helping them. It's not about removing somebody. Um, and being able to put on the great program through the help of UPS. I know it's UPS Mexico here, but still UPS worldwide and helping people to go global. Um, right now, we've connected more than 2,000 entrepreneurs with um, mentors, with uh, funding, um, various programs that we've had. Um, let's just go through that. I'll speak about the communities program, which is something that I'm representing, and I'm representing um, Startup Canada. But the Communities Program is really the backbone of um, entrepreneurship in Canada. What we do is, I mentioned that we connect entrepreneurs with um, funding, with mentorship, with um, private companies, with public companies. We also connect them with government so they're able to um, ask their government leaders uh, for things that they need to help broaden their company, to, to, to be successful. And that's one of the key things. The key ingredient is, if someone in your community is successful, then everyone is successful. So everyone, the motto really is everyone can eat. It's not about one company eating or one person eating. It's about everybody and helping each other. Um, I've already gone through that. So I'm just going to speak just very general about the startup communities, what it means. It's the value, the proposition of inclusivity and helping each other. 
there, um, there's a few things why startup communities are very important. What we do is we identify and fill gaps within the ecosystem. When we use the word ecosystem, many people think of, you know, they're, they're here, it, it's a buzzword, but really ecosystem is, is to create a full package for everyone. It's about having all the blocks that build one large organization or one community. If you have, um, it's like having a plant and you have soil but no water. Your plant will only last for a certain amount of time. So when you have that, you're able to connect as a full group and you're able to help each other. It's, um, that's one of the really critical things is being able to help each other. Uh, I'm going to share some pictures of some of the events. So we did a tour right across Canada. Um, we stopped in some cities that people don't really know about because people know of cities like Ottawa, they know of Toronto, they know of BC, um, they know of, um, you know, other um, Saskatchewan, they know, uh, like uh, Saskatoon, sorry. They know of other companies and uh, like other cities, but they don't know of some of the smaller ones where people need help. So what they do is allow these smaller cities now to represent themselves and to broaden that and they're able to um, bring programs in that um, these startups would not normally see. They wouldn't normally miss out on a boot camp opportunity that we're, we're currently doing them right now with UPS. And it's for, it's not just import exporting, it's also service. Um, if you want to broaden that. And going global is our key topic throughout this um, conference because that's the way to connect uh, cross country. Really it's about making sure that everyone is able to connect and to be successful. Um, currently we have over 25 communities that serve Canada and um, at the rate that we're going, we're hoping to have about 100 by the end of the year. And um, the, the communities, they all run in the same way. Startup Canada is, um, I call it the mothership, but uh, the communities, they get all the resources that they need to enable entrepreneurs and anyone who wants to be an entrepreneur, even if they work full time and they have an idea, they have something that they want to start off on the side, they're able to fund that, they're able to grow that and be successful. And those are some of the very critical things that we do. So you can see from BC to Atlantic, uh, Canada, the, the different communities. My community is under Ontario, which is the uh, region of Peel. Three pillars for the Startup Canada community programs is where the community leaders connect. Um, a very important thing is to create value for entrepreneurs. If you have a program, but no one is able to get value from that, then it's useless. Um, you really need to make sure that um, it's successful, but Anyone that's buying into the program is getting something from the program. It's not just about taking away. When you, when you become successful and you're able to share that with another group, those are critical items. Um, the last pillar is giving a voice to entrepreneurs. Giving a voice to entrepreneurs is it's a really critical thing. It's very key because if you're, as an entrepreneur, you want to be successful, you want to say to your government or your representative or someone within a region that, this is something that I'm looking for, this is something that I need. You're able to do that because you have that voice. And um, for the Hill Day that I spoke about, what we do is we, my job was, um, that I did last year, or this year, sorry, was I went around to my community members and I asked, is there anything that you need from our government that you're not seeing right now? Is, there, is it about small business? Is it about the lack of funding or being able to gain the funding because the money's there? Most people don't know where to look for funding, and that was one of the critical things. Another item that they touched on in my community was for women. Women seeking to do business, they, don't, they, they want to have a launch pad for that. They're, and so these are things that I brought up to our leaders, and they were able to, they're working on that right now, and those initiatives are something that help the, the economy grow, because small businesses, whether it's an entrepreneur, it's one person, it contributes to the economy and in turn everything grows and those are very critical. Another image I'm sharing, this is from um, two years ago when we had the Hill Day. We have the panels, we have the community leaders, they go up and they speak with government. They, they address the audience and they answer a lot of questions but it's really sharing that information. They take that information, they come back to their community and they, they spread that knowledge. Um, I'm not going to go into all the things about the connecting, but it really does come back to connecting the resources. You're basically um, a stopping point for many people. They'll reach out to you and say, well, 
Melanie, I'd like, I have an idea, I'd like to do this, but I don't know where to, where to go for this. How, who can I turn to? And if I have that information, even if I don't have that information, I'll reach out to someone else and say, this person can help you. It, it's really your job to help them um, be successful. And those are some of the very critical things for that. Um, this is another one of our startup leaders from Nanaimo. So he's on the West Coast. I touched upon creating value for entrepreneurs. I'm just being mindful of the time because I know lunch is after this, so I don't want to run over the time. Um, creating value for entrepreneurs is, is, is important because if you have something, you have an organization, you set up a foundation, and you're running and you think you're doing a great job, but nobody uses the facilities or no one's using that, you, you come to realize that what you have is there's no value for the entrepreneurs. There's no value for the ecosystem. So you have to ensure that what you're giving and what you're producing out there, people are able to utilize that and it is something that they need. So there, therein lies the value. And um, I mentioned before about entrepreneurs having a voice. Um, we had a big promotion across Canada and then it actually stemmed in, not just to Canada but to Europe as well to um, other partners that have used the Startup Canada model for their um, communities. Every entrepreneur was the hashtag that we used. So social media was a huge platform for that. And we had many startups right across the world. We had Startup Turkey. We had um, you know, startups from right across uh, the globe that follow that and, and what they did was they created little videos from entrepreneurs and they said, they basically spoke up and they, they asked for things. They said, this is something that we would like to see because we need it in order to grow and to be successful. So that was very, that was an amazing event to do that. Um, I mentioned giving a voice to entrepreneurs, but one of the key things is town halls. We had a town hall uh, recently in my area we had our Minister of Small Business and Tourism and she came in from Ottawa and she did uh, a demo day for us and shared information about how the government is changing some regulations so people can gain funding. Um, as one of the biggest things most people say is that they can't find funding. The money is there if they get the money. Um, and that's how it's very difficult for some people to, to scale from that. They have a wonderful idea, their business has started, they've bootstrapped basically, they've taken their own money, they've put into it and they're unable to go any further because they need help. And those are some of the things that we discussed. Um, sharing stories, um, success stories. And by sharing a success story, you're able to encourage others. You're giving them an opportunity to say, hey, you just did that and this is what you've gone through. I can do that as well. You give them an opportunity to, to, um, to pursue something instead of thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't. You know, being an entrepreneur or being um, your first startup, it's a risk because you don't know if you're going to be successful or not, but if you don't take the risk, you also you won't know if you'll be successful. So those are some of the other items. Um, some additional pictures from the tours, and um, we did touch on the one thing I did I did not cover was the government relations support um, and media support. Um, government relations, it's how do I say this? Um, when you you you're trying to reach out to a level and you're not able to get that, you're not sure who to turn to. So most people or the small, the small uh, businesses, the scale-ups, the startups, they will come to us and say, I'd like to reach out to this individual in government. I want to do business in Mexico. Who can I turn to? Or um, somebody, we've met a lot of people, my brother and I, while we were here, that would, um, entrepreneurs and small people, the small businesses, they want to come up and they want to do business in, in Canada. And they're looking for that launch pad. So by enabling us to do that, we can help you. Um, in this picture, there is um, we have Marissa McTavish. So she's a female founder of a construction um, apparel company. When she first started out, um, she was trying to buy construction boots and she couldn't find any boots for her that fit her feet. So she started that company. There was a need for that. She solved the solution. Um, the gentleman in the middle, he received our Senior uh, Entrepreneurship Award, so he is retired, but he still has a business and he still wants to be successful. And the young uh, gentleman to the right or to the left, whichever side you're looking at, he actually received the Youngest Entrepreneur uh, Award. So it's, entrepreneurship is not, there is not an age on entrepreneurship, it can range from you know, somebody as young as seven to somebody as old as 90 or 100. There is no age on that. It's just really the mindset. 
and how you want to achieve something. I think that should be it for my slides. Ah. So the Start of Canada Awards, um, I just touched on that. Um, it's, the, it's the celebration of, of achievement. So Marissa, John, and then um, going, we actually go right across Canada. And then we do that, and then the one last uh, event will be held in Toronto in November, and that's coming up. And that's it. So this is the group of, and these are community leaders and volunteers.